welcome welcome back to my channel you guys my name is kat today we're going to be doing the first diy thrift flip that we have done on my channel y'all i've been so excited to do this i know we in the car right now but we're about to be back at the house in just a second so real quickly you guys i have a fall decorate with me that is coming up in just a couple of days and i needed these items for that video so everything works out perfectly I'm going to show you guys the items as soon as we get back, but I did want to let you guys know all of these items are thrifted except for two items. Those I got from Amazon. They came in a set of six. It's art prints. We're going to be using two of them today. I will have the link to that in the description box below if you guys are interested. So as soon as we get back to the house, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the items we're going to be working with today, what we're going to be doing with them, and then we'll go ahead and get started. All right, y'all. So we have three projects. So we have vases. We have these wood pieces right here, these two wood pieces, and then we have these art prints that I was telling y'all about. So, vases, y'all. I have seen so many DIYs where people will take thrifted vases and they do like a textured paint situation. And I absolutely love watching those videos. I've really been wanting to do one of my own and I love seeing other people's transformation. So I got these vases, th this one and this one I got probably over six months ago. These two I got more fairly recently in the past couple months i don't have the prices on them anymore but none of these vases were over five dollars you guys such an amazing price i love the shapes of these i love the different size variations and i really love the handles on both of these and then this one already has some texture to it so i really love that about this then as far as these wood pieces i think i still have the price yeah still have the price on this one if you can see, it has kind of like a shiny sheen to it and it's got this like weird foil piece stuck to it. So I'm gonna sand this down. And then this one, I absolutely love. I don't have the price on this. I got this some time ago and I don't necessarily think it needs to be sanded. And I might be able to actually put some, I think it's called wood oil on it. I need to find some, but I just really wanted, I'm gonna be using both of these for fall decor in the next coming up video. And I really just wanted to kind of liven this up a little bit cause it, the wood is just looking a little dry you feel what i'm saying so i got this wood stain never used this before but i've seen this as well in other people's diys and I, that's why i love watching diys you guys it gives so much inspiration but i've never used this before so hopefully it will turn out like i'm envisioning so that's that and then these prints so these are the other two kind of black and white ones but i really want to use the color again these will also be for the fall di i said diy the fall uh decorate with me that is coming up this coming week so i've seen in so many people's diys where people use mod podge and this is in a matte finish they use it to add texture to art prints where it looks it makes it look a lot more like an actual painting, which I have loved watching those videos as well. They really, really transform these art prints so much. So hopefully that will turn out. But I think I'm going to end up doing this last. I think I'm going to do the vases first because I want to do a coat of white for the base and I'm going to have to let that dry first. So that's probably going to take the longest. So we're probably going to do that now. Then we'll start working on the wood pieces, sanding those and getting the stain on those. And then we'll probably go ahead and finish the texture art prints tomorrow. I don't even know, y'all, we, we gonna see because this lighting is not working with us right now. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I was trying to figure out, should I put the baking soda in the white paint and let that dry? That way when I use like the other paints for like the color, that I don't have to use the baking soda because the texture is already there. I think I'm going to try it that way and see how it turns out. So yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do a time lapse or play some music or whatever, but we're going to go ahead and get this part started. Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got this list of my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be a one of the things I love Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door locked I like everything that has a cherry on top Get on my list of the things I love, love, love You could be the one I trust All the second chances they are nothing for us I like it all with a cherry on top Be one of the things I love We don't have to move so fast, baby, I will 
will show you how you can catch my all right y'all i'm gonna try to hurry it up because we losing the light but i just wanted to show you guys really really quick trial and error just just try stuff you guys i really it worked very well for me to do the brush strokes back and forth and then kind of let that sit for just a second and then put a little bit just a tiny tiny bit of paint on the end of the paintbrush and then do a spackling motion you guys just tap 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 not too hard and not a lot of paint because i feel like when i had a lot of paint on it it was actually pulling off the layer the first layer of paint that i did but just lightly tapping it really created this beautiful texture and i absolutely love it i really want to get this one done this evening you guys and i think i'm gonna do instead of the baking soda i'm gonna do the spackling and i know that's gonna need a little bit of time to dry so i think i'm gonna try to get that done tonight let that dry overnight so it's ready for tomorrow i could be wrong and maybe i've just had this back too long and it's not good anymore but it's very very watery kind of and i honestly feel like it would be better if i use a paintbrush to put it on and which is really weird because i've always seen people put it on with some type of you know utensil i'm gonna try it and see because it just I don't know you guys like look at that it's almost like paint maybe i got the right wrong kind i'm not really sure i might have to i don't know you guys we gonna see we we, we gonna work with it have an idea i don't know if it's gonna work but we're gonna try so i cut the larger sponge in half and i'm gonna try to do a similar stippling technique as this one since this is kind of more like a paint texture i'm gonna try to do it not on a time lapse where i'm holding the camera so it's a little bit closer up so y'all can see and i might need to wait until it dries a little bit more i don't know y'all but we we, we gonna see And I'm not pressing hard, you guys. I'm just lightly tapping. And I had this has only been sitting here for maybe a minute and a half, two minutes. It's not obviously not dry at all. But I didn't want to start doing it right when I finished either. I wanted to give it just a little bit of time to thicken up. All right, I'm gonna um. I kind of like that, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and finish this on a time lapse because we really are losing light now. And I want to go ahead and finish this up. But then I'll be back to see you guys tomorrow. And then we'll finish this project and start on the other two. We the next morning and you guys listen i love how this came out so i'm gonna go ahead and get the paints together i'm not an artist you guys so hopefully the color is going to turn out like i'm hoping i want to do very natural neutral earthy tones like i said i have florals for the fall decorate with me that i'm going to want to put in these and i really like to have vases that can kind of go with any season any time of year so that's why i really want to have them you know very neutral but let's go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and set up the paints and we'll get started on this y'all so we the whole next day <laughs> i was painting and then realized that my phone had died 
so we here now um y'all i this wasn't as easy as i thought it would be Hold on, i'm trying to pick up stuff and yeah so i don't hate it and i feel like honestly a part of it also is the lighting in this room is terrible i really can't tell with this camera you guys i feel like it's giving off like a weird hue but it's kind of like a beigey color these two are kind of like a gray aged situation and then y'all oh lord child <laughs> I was trying to do matte black chalk situation, but I didn't have chalk, so I used baking soda and child. Look, no ma'am. So, and I really want to do this one. I, I wanted these two to be different, but like when I mixed the paint and y'all, I'm telling you the paint was mixed differently, but then when they came out, it ended up being almost the same. So I actually think I'm gonna end up doing this one, a matte black chalk as well. So we gonna run to the store real quick. I'm gonna get some actual chalk because this whole baking soda situation is this it's not it. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and switch this one. So we're gonna run to the store, come back, get this done, and then we're gonna start on the other projects. And yeah, <laughs> we'll be back in just a minute. Playing trances, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run? Time and second chances, empty handed. You like the fast life, you like to drive, get down and dirty, like, 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 like. You want some love, you like when you feel like calling a midnight. Mm, you got the best of me, you got me losing sleep. Uh, I Yeah, look how beautiful this wood is. Hold on, I'm gonna sh show y'all in the light. So I can really see. Yeah, look at it. That. that stuff did its thing. <laughs> okay, so, but y'all, listen. First of all, this is what I used. And I was thinking I might need to put a little bit more, but I feel like it's it's good the way it is. I got to do the other side. But, yeah, this <laughs> definitely did not turn out how I'd hoped. So, I actually went and sanded it off camera. Hold on, let me move this around. I went and sanded it down again off camera because when I was putting it on the paper towel and putting it on here, it was getting really splotchy in certain spots. It wasn't going on evenly. So, really didn't like that at all. So I sanded it down. I tried to do it again. It's just made it worse. So we here now and I'm gonna try. I don't feel like necessarily all hope is lost, but I'm gonna try to use this on here. I don't know if that's gonna make it worse, better, same, but this might be a dub. But either way, I still am proud of 
trying <laughs> and definitely love how this turned out so and you know you guys even when you do especially when it's thrifted finds like this was a dollar and 80 cents so even if stuff you know doesn't come out the way that you planned it that wasn't a huge loss so see what i can do with this if not at least we have this wood piece because i definitely wanted to incorporate wood for fall so this piece is going to work out perfectly so i'm about to try this on here and see what it do but i'm not going to waste too much time on it and then we're going to go ahead and get the art prints and start on that because y'all i'm so so excited about that yeah just just ain't it it just looks painted on instead of natural and that's definitely not the look i was going for but it's okay definitely was a learning experience i'm gonna definitely have to look a little bit more into how to do wood staining properly if you have any tips or advice i definitely appreciate it yeah, i'm gonna go get the prints clean this up and then we'll get started on those all right y'all so two things these are thrifted frames all of these were two dollars two dollars and they're all varying sizes so i actually got these for the art prints and i kind of wanted to find a couple of more just in case these ones don't fit but i did want to just show you guys i love getting thrifted frames because they're such an affordable price and if you really you know take time and are patient you can find some really beautiful frames so then i want to show you guys this hold on one second these were the set of prints i showed y'all the other day with the black and white I didn't think these were going to come on time, but I actually found it's from the same seller. I found a, this basically the same prints, except the smaller ones are colored prints. And I really like that. So I'm actually going to return this set and keep this one. I'll have both sets linked below, but I really wanted to do all colored prints. So the large ones are all the same as the other set. But this one has three smaller ones and they're all colored prints these are really beautiful i love the kind of pastel colors so i think i'm gonna do these three instead of just doing two when i have seen videos of people using the mod podge what i what a lot of people were saying is basically emulating how you would do brush strokes in a painting so kind of like a stippling motion to create that texture on the leaves and then kind of more like a swooping motion for the sky and the clouds Thank you. 
y'all it's still drying a little bit but look it really worked i love it i cannot wait to see what they look like in the frame this one is still got a bit of drying to do but y'all so one thing i figured out is starting with the background first so for example this area i did the sky first and then i did the stippling in the trees afterwards that way like the border where the sky and the tree meets it kind of like fades in and has like a gradient to it instead of it being like an abrupt change and a brush stroke so it just looks a little bit more natural that way same with the hold on i'm trying to get it to reflect same with the grass right here you can see like the texture in the grass that's going upwards i did that at the end so it was kind of on top of the texture of everything else we losing the sun but i gotta clean up out here i'm gonna go back inside and then i'm gonna go ahead and do the chalk on these i think they dry enough Right, you guys that is a wrap i love how everything turned out and y'all i was definitely doubting my artistic ability i have not done anything art related in quite some time you guys and i'm really glad that i just went ahead and went for it because you know art is supposed to be enjoyable and this definitely was a lot of fun i did realize i did not show you guys the paints that i used and it's going to be really hard for me to tell you guys what i mix with what especially with 
this larger base i did like four or five different layers because every time i would mix and then put the paint on i just didn't like how it was turning out but this i will say this one right here the mineral that was one of the main base coats i used and then i'd add different you know color variations but these were all from walmart i'm kind of zoom in so y'all can see which ones they were But yeah, you guys, I really hope that you guys enjoy watching. I hope that it inspired you to do some crafts of your own. I'm so excited to incorporate some of these in my fall decorate with me. Again, I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. And I'll be back to talk to y'all again soon.